Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and uh, today I am going to be playing. Um, I was watching um, Miriam's Nature or Nature's Miriam. I can't remember what her handle is. Um, her video about fractals this morning and um, with that it inspired an awareness you know sometimes you ask for awareness and it shows up in strangest of ways i um as some of you know i inherited from my dad his big pile of paints but, um and in that pile of paints was a uh what do you call it <laughs> An ink refill box. Now, obviously, for a printer rather than for painting. And I, you know, as with everything, I asked, should I take this with me or should I leave it here? And um, I went with what was light. And um, what was light was to to bring it home and. So I've been asking for a way that I can use this in my painting. So when I was watching my room today, uh, look, I'm even using a comb. This is slightly different to what she uses because I didn't, couldn't find one actually. But um, so when I was looking at, oh, that is not the what plan. Um, Looking at what she was doing using ink and alcohol in runny white paint, I was like, hmm, I've got some printer cartridge ink that I've been asking for awareness about. I wonder if that will do a similar thing. So that's what we're playing with today in this video, guys. I haven't done this yet. I don't know if it'll work. Um, but having done my very cool um Anne Osborne impression yesterday that looks like a, a unicorn <laughs> um I thought well you know if you got something like that and it looks like it needs a fractal attached to it in some way why not give it a go what's what would it take for me to have a way that I can add fractals to, to my paintings with ease and um, get rid of some of those bubbles. Um, get rid of those fractals with ease and then and be able to add them. Get rid of the fractals of the bubbles <laughs> and add fractals anyway so this is just a play play video experiment video see what we can create um i have my isopropyl alcohol um that i got from the pharmacy i don't know where you guys can get it in america but the only place you can buy it here is at a, at a pharmacy uh and this is a hundred percent I know she was using 91% in her video. And then in this box you get the cyan, the magenta, the black, and the yellow. And technically you should be able to make absolutely any colour out of those. So I'm just going to pick some up with this and pop a little bit in there. I would highly recommend using a different one for each for each colour just so that they stay clean and then I'm going to do the same with the alcohol and see what gets created with that put the rest back in there put that one up the top so that I know which one's my alcohol and gonna stir that and 
almost seeing fractals appearing <laughs> in that. So all she did was just add a drop. And hey, presto. Check that out. Add another drop. That's so pretty. I'm going to have a little one over here. And get rid of that here. <laughs> and where else could I put one? Oh, now I'm going into my head. Going into your head is just not creative. Thinking is stinking when it comes to art, guys. Are you willing to actually be so creative that you don't need to think? Just know. Know what your painting requires. Um, know what you desire. Know what the paint desires to be. What it requires to create what you desire. So that's working beautifully. I'm loving it. So I am getting my other colours out. Um, and let's see. Oh, we can create on this little funky doodad. Gotta try and avoid getting into that white paint there. I might use that or I might not. Either way, let's play. So we've done pink. Let's do some blue. I'm going to put a drop of the blue in with the pink. See what that creates. Oh, that's pretty. And a drop of the pink in with the blue over here. To see, just playing at what else is possible. What can be created? What beauty desires to be created over here? So, if you've got some old ink cartridges laying around, then maybe this is something you would like to play with. Interesting. That's so cool. Isn't that pretty? Can you? I think it is. <laughs> I have a new toy. Yay! I like toys. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to put a little bit of red in that one. And a little bit of uh. Oh, look. Now, what Miriam had happened when hers came towards each other was that they avoided each other whereas mine are joining up and having a playmates play dates interacting joining up oh look even like the yellow going into that purple one over there oh that red one that orange one's taking over the world <laughs> how does it get any better than this guys this is fun what magic can be created when you tutu with color? I wonder if they go down the side. Let's try that. I do you like the green? It's a pretty green. Mm. 
What are we doing? Creating magic. And I think that <laughs> that might be enough. Um, wow. That's super pretty. Let's get you down and show you some of the detail. You know, one of the things that I've found with um, when my printer tells me that the ink is empty, I don't believe it. <laughs> Look at these beautiful fractals. Yummy! And look at the difference between when you put the blue down and the yellow down first. You actually get a different colour. That's quite cool. So this one here, I put the uh, blue down first and then put the red on top of it. And this one over here was a red first with the blue on top of it. That's so cool. I do like them. And I wonder how they'll develop. So what I'm going to do is just put the camera back up here. Zoom you in. And that's time lapse. So, how does it get any better than that? There's been a bit of change. What I'm noticing here is the pink seems to be becoming more of a halo. So, I'm going to let this dry and I will show you what it comes out like. My next question is if you've got paint um oops, i need one more tin where's my empty tins um if you've got that plain white paint but don't quite mix it completely and then you, instead of adding water you would add your ink how would that show up? So that's what I'm playing with next. So I'm gonna show you one and then I'm gonna pause the video and do the other two off screen. Um, and we will see how we go. So I'm gonna use the yellow and this one. And see what happens. Don't even know if it will mix properly yet, but this is always an interesting toy to play with. So it might require quite a bit of mixing. And because we're putting it into a white base, you're going to get quite a light colour. So that's. It looks like I'm scrambling eggs in here <laughs> all right so what I have ended up with <laughs> the yellow is still I added a little bit more and it's still a little bit egg yolky these are really runny actually I think that one's quite nice and <laughs> The magenta, oh, that's not as runny as I thought it was. Um, so the yellow, I've put heaps and heaps and heaps of yellow in, and it's become quite runny, and I'm still not particularly happy with the consistency. The blue, the cyanide, 
and the magenta they didn't take much at all in fact I didn't what I showed you before in the um, in the fractal look thing was actually all I put um, what's going to be straight for you guys to see there so what I'm going to do now I'm going to put a little bit of white onto the edges of this canvas Then I'm going to do a flip cuppy type, pory type thing. <laughs> you know, one of those random things that we artists do when we're playing. Do you ever do that? If not, what would it take for you to be willing to be out of control, out of definition, out of form, structure and significance? Out of linearity and out of concentricities for all eternity. <laughs> what else is possible, guys? How does it get any better than this? Are you willing to play? All right. So. I need a cup. We also need some. which I have not put in either of these yet any of these and that's oops lots crikey now if you guys have any awareness at all about the way a printer works you literally have um Four colours. You have the cyan, the magenta, the yellow, and the black. And this magenta is probably a little bit too thick, but that's okay. The yellow will make up for it. some more white this is going to be very pastely very very pastely and I'm glad I put paint around the edges now for those of you that don't like um, watching paint being mixed um, I have heard you and um, you'll notice in the description of this video that there's a link to where I started this creation process so if you're only just joining me these paints are made with student face acrylic mixed with flow tile and water just plain white and then with printer ink mixed in <laughs> so I didn't mix as much water in as I would normally do and I um, have fun let's see if this does anything it's 
and that's pretty cool that yellow is quite even though the yellow is really runny it's um kind of like egg <laughs> so that's definitely interesting I like it though. What do you guys reckon? I'm quite liking it. Are you digging it? I'm digging it. <laughs> oh, oh my being. How does it get any better than that? Now it's definitely not the normal consistency that I would use. And it's definitely... doing some interesting blends it's not it's not smooth it's not it's really not mixing very well at all the blue and the yellow have made an interesting green let's see if the dimethicone comes up and if we actually get any um, cells at all See if anything gets created here, guys. Has Michelle discovered a new possibility, or is it a serious flop out? And what will it dry like? That's the other question. I'm not seeing any cells coming through. I'm seeing a cat appearing at the door, but that's okay. So let's get you down and show you what we've got. And uh, let's have a look. So there you go guys, it's really quite gelatinous, I think, is probably the best descriptive word that I have for you. And you're all going, it's not in focus. Well, that's about as in focus as it's going to get, because that is what it looks like. Um, yeah, it's the camera's trying to focus on something that's not actually focusable <laughs> so I actually quite like it it's not something I think I'm going to try and replicate again um, and not, come on camera let's see what you can do it, it's trying guys but it's blurry it is actually does look that blurry um, so there you go let's see what this one dries like thanks for joining me I'll be back in a minute not dry yet but I had a bit of a play because I'm a tutu fingers so I dipped and flicked around the edges there so I just thought I'd let you know that so when it dries you're not going how did it do that hey Hey lovely, so here they are dry and no my uh, <laughs> my camera is not out of focus they have dried like this this is really quite interesting my beautiful fractals as the um, as the ink seeped into the paint it just literally blurred out as you can see there you can see the canvas quite clearly and the blurriness <laughs> and then the ones where I mixed the uh, um, 
ink directly into the paint again super blurry super icky and uh, it didn't dry very well either got all those pit holes in there you see how clear those pit holes are <laughs> compared to the blurriness of the ink so really wouldn't recommend using uh, printer ink cartridge ink mixed with paint even though the fractals do look beautiful if you're going to be doing some um, wet close-up photos sweet use it looks fabulous if you're doing it for it to dry don't bother all right so thanks for joining me on this video and what else is possible what else can we play with what other things can we experiment with cheers